A lot of people are capable of working and are willing to work, but it's it's just the way it's set up. It um, the the mother and the children are better off if the husband isn't working or if the husband isn't there. If the husband isn't working or if the husband isn't there. If the husband isn't working or if the husband isn't there. And this breaks up so many poor families. One of the saddest things is that many of the children whose parents are on welfare will in their turn end up in the welfare trap when they grow up. Yep. In this public housing project in the Bronx, New York, three quarters of the families are now receiving welfare payments. Well, Mr. Brown wanted to keep away from this kind of thing for a very good reason. The people who get on welfare lose their human independence and feeling of dignity. This is the reason why we have so many single mothers, so many black single mothers, so many welfare babies, so many women that are bitter, single, and lonely, because in 1978, the welfare system took over the black community. <laughs> What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. They become subject to the dictates and whims of their welfare supervisor who can tell them whether they can live here or there, whether they may put in a telephone, what they may do with their lives. They're treated like children, not like responsible adults. And they're trapped in the system. Maybe a job comes up that looks better than welfare. But they're afraid to take it. Because if they lose it after a few months, it may be six months or nine months before they can get back onto welfare. And as a result, this becomes a self-perpetuating cycle rather than simply a temporary state of affairs. I want you to pay very close attention to what this guy says. Being on welfare is like being in the system. It's an endless cycle. Because even if you were to find a job that's better than what you're getting right now, chances are if you get the job and then you get fired or you leave, it's going to take six months, five months, a number of months to get back on welfare. So it's an endless cycle. Yep. Not to mention the father, the husband, the man is not in the home. So there's no protection. Nope. Now, follow me. Not only is the man not in the home, not only is there no protection. But wait. The woman is in her masculine energy. The, the father is not there. The husband is not there. The structure is not there. The pillar is not there. The backbone of the family is not there. Ladies, this is why you're a single mother. Because it's being passed down from one generation to the next. And if you've been a follower of this channel for any amount of time, you already know that I have what I call single woman logic. It's quotes and it's sayings that only single mothers talk about. For example... If you give a man the power to feed you, you give him the power to starve you. That's single woman logic. The reason why is because only single women say that. You don't see other races of women saying that. You don't see other races of women saying, I can do all bad by myself. I'm an independent woman. I don't need a man. I don't cook. I don't clean. But I got that ring. 
You don't see any other group of women saying ridiculous crap like that except for black women. Go in the Latino community. Go in the Asian community. Africans. Saudi Arabians. They don't say it. They recognize the importance of a man. But it's only in our community where we don't recognize the importance of a man, the importance of the backbone and the structure, how a man protects, provides, takes care of the wife and child, because without a man, you have no protection. Who's going to protect you from a burglar? Who's going to protect you when somebody tries to break in? Who's going to provide for the family? Who's going to take care of you in your old age? When you have children and those children grow up and go on to live their own lives and you get old, you can't work anymore. Who's going to take care of you? Nobody. <laughs> So you're already setting yourself up for failure. There's already a pain in it. There's already women already make less money than a man. So you really think that you're going to be this strong, independent woman who doesn't need a man. Being proud that you're a single mom, saying your child is a blessing. But it ties you to the poogie that you slept with to have the child. It's a mess. And it all started with welfare women. Yep. That's where it all started. Women got on welfare. Welfare and Section 8 and WIC said you can't have a man in the home. So they decide they're going to kick the man out of the house, remove the man, and add children. So now the woman is doing the work of both the man and the woman. And you see, that's what it is. That's where it all started. Black women, you have to realize that you have to do better. You have to make better decisions. You have to vet men properly. You have to stop with all of the, I'm an independent woman. I don't need a man. You do need a man. You do need a man. Stop saying you don't because you do. Stop saying you don't want to get married because you do. Granted, I understand that not everybody wants to get married and wants to have a family, but the vast majority of women, some of them do. And I'm talking to the ones who do. But the reason why you can't have a successful family and you can't have a successful relationship is because you believe what your mother told you. You believe that your mother was right. You listened to your mom. You listened when your mom said, don't let a man take care of you. You listened when a, a, your mom said, have your own. Have a secret stash of money. Have a secret bank account that your man doesn't know about. Stash money away. You listen to your mom when she said, don't let a man feed you or you give him the power to store of you. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you're going to see me right after this video on the next video that's going to be coming up on your screen. And until the next video, peace.